Hello, this is Jeremy from Coralview, welcoming you back to another season of CVTV. Today we will be covering the basic essentials of how to assemble, set up, and operate your new IceCap K2 protein skimmer. The IceCap K2 series are remarkably compact skimmers and offer a new level of refined filtration for an array of aquariums. The skimmers were designed around providing proper filtration without sacrificing valuable sump space or performance. Master crafted from a robust PVC and high quality acrylic, these skimmers are built to last. All components are marine safe and refined in every aspect to provide the latest enhancements of foam fractionation. The skimmer's elegant beer bottle curved body naturally stabilizes the air and water mix and gently uplifts the organics to the surface of foam for collection. The skimmers feature an impressive compact footprint, making them ideal for tight sump applications. Let's not forget to mention that the skimmer disassembles completely for easy service. At the core of the IceCap K2 skimmers, you will find an always reliable Italian-made CJ pinwheel skimmer pump with a proven track record for being highly durable, efficient, and reliable. The K2 output control offers trouble-free fine-tuning and quiet operation. The pipeless design not only saves on space, but also allows the outgoing water to exit the side of the skimmer and below the water surface, providing quiet, splash-free discharge. Located much lower in the reaction chamber, the K2 Signature Bubble Dispensing Chamber offers a multi-stage diffusion of water, providing additional contact time and enhanced foam stability. The IceCap K2 skimmers are now available in four models. The K250, perfect for aquariums ranging between 40 and 80 gallons, which we will cover in a future video. The K2120 can handle aquariums between 75 and 120 gallons. The K2160, ideal for aquariums between 120 to 200 gallons. And the K200, capable of filtering aquariums between 200 and 300 gallons. Before we begin, please locate, inspect, and identify all components supplied with your new protein skimmer. Please refer to the parts and assemblies diagram located in your user's guide. If you don't have it, you can always download it by clicking the link below. On a stable surface, place a towel or something to prevent any scratches while assembling. With the supplied Allen keys, loosen the four screws along the four corners of the base of the skimmer. Twist counterclockwise and lift off. With the K2120, remove the screws from either end of the two blue pump mounts and insert the pump sideways until the mount attaches to the base of the skimmer. Push the detached mount into place and fasten the screw locking the pump onto the skimmer base. With the K2160 and the 200 models, insert the back side of the pump into the corresponding grooves of the custom pump mount. Make sure that the back of the pump is placed nearest to the last brace. With the top of the diffusion chamber removed, place the output of the pump through the hole in the bottom plate. Thread in the output adapter to secure the chamber to the output of the pump. Place the top of the chamber and thread the screw and be careful not to over tighten. Before we install the skimmer body, we need to install the white venturi coupling to the intake of the pump. Please make sure that the output coupling is installed properly by testing the other side of the coupling to ensure that the venturi fits. Line up the skimmer body with the intake of the skimmer pump and match the screws on the base of the larger holes on the rim of the skimmer body. Twist so that the two rims line up making a perfect square. Tighten all screws and push the white vibration absorbing feet onto the four screw heads on the bottom of the skimmer. Insert the venturi through the hole that is lined up with the intake of the skimmer pump. The venturi will insert into the white coupling on the intake of the pump. Slip the blue nut from the ozone input fitting over the blue tubing and slip the hose over the ozone input barb and tighten the nut securing the connection. Slip the airline over the larger barb of the venturi. Next, remove the screw and install the silencer bracket at the top of the skimmer body and secure it in place with the screw. 
install the air line to the port located at the bottom of the silencer and with the blue air control face upward, press the silencer into the bracket. Slip the blue ozone tube through the hole at the top of the rim of the skimmer marked ozone. At this time, I would suggest placing the black cap over the top. We'll cover the ozone connection and how to use ozone on your skimmer in a later video. Carefully install the skimmer in your sump at the suggested water depth. Place a collection cup with lid on top of the rim of the skimmer body. The collection cup comes with a drain if you wish to run the skimmer to a collection container. To do this, remove the blue retainer clip by pulling outward. Press the slip ring towards the drain fitting while pulling the plug outwards. Insert the drain into the hose adapter into the drain elbow. Reinstall the retainer clip and attach the drain hose. With the output valve completely open, plug the pump's power plug into the electrical socket. To tune the skimmer to your aquarium, simply close the output valve by turning the handle counterclockwise until you retain pea-sized bubbles at the point where the collection cup mounts to the skimmer body. Allow the skimmer to acclimate to the new setting for 24 hours before making any further adjustments. The more closed the output valve becomes, the wetter the waste collection becomes. Warning: Do not attempt dialing in the protein skimmer any sooner than two weeks. You must allow the skimmer to break in prior to tuning it. It is common for a skimmer not to fully break in for four weeks. During this time, the skimmer's performance can be very unpredictable. We suggest that you remove the pump every four to six months to be clean and inspect the impeller for wear and damage. If you are still experiencing issues or have any technical questions that you wish to ask, please head on over to www.coralview.com forward slash support and submit a support ticket. If you have any comments or tips to share with your fellow reef keepers, feel free to leave them in the area below. If this is your first time joining us, hit that subscribe button as you don't want to miss our upcoming videos related to reefing. Thank you again for watching CVTV and see you next time.